This menu helps you organize and navigate your inboxes. You can click here to hide it when you want to focus on your work. And it's really easy to make it reappear using these keyboard shortcuts. Okay, let's look at the main items on this menu. So first up is your inbox. This contains any conversations that are assigned to you. While the mentions inbox contains conversations where you've been mentioned. Now mentions are internal notes that let you or your teammates loop each other in for help or advice. All then is a list of, wait for it, all the conversations that your workspace has. And unassigned is where you'll find all conversations that haven't been assigned someone to look after them yet. Lastly, then you've got this dashboard. It's more for managers. It's where they can get real time updates on what's happening in the inbox. Moving on, then you have your teams, teammates and views. So any teams you're a part of will appear here by default. You can't remove them, but you can rearrange them. You can also add and remove other teams that you aren't a part of. If there are teammates who you work closely with, you can add them here. And it's going to make it easy to jump to exactly what they're working on. The last part of this customizable section are views. Now, views let you create a list of conversations pulled from different places, like different teams, teammates, or inboxes. They're kind of more important if you're a manager, but you can see I've made a really basic one here so I can see all of Phil's and Danielle's conversations in one place. This is handy because I work really closely with them, so it's easier for me just to be able to view all their conversations at once. So those are the main features of this menu, but there are a few that we forgot. Uh, you can, of course, search the entire inbox with the search bar. Here you can use keywords, phrases, and these options to narrow down your search.